As we age, our five senses begin to decline. The way our vision, hearing, touch, smell, and taste gives us information about the world around us changes. Presbyopia occurs when the lens becomes stiff, making it difficult to focus on nearby objects. Corrective lenses may be prescribed to counteract this problem. The elderly also have trouble adapting to bright lights, glares, and darkness. This makes driving at night extremely difficult. Cataracts are cloudy areas in a normally clear lens. Surgery can be performed to remove the cataracts and restore clear vision. Glaucoma occurs where there has been damage to the optic nerve. This is usually caused by heightened intraocular pressure. As a result, peripheral vision is lost and the person has what is commonly referred to as tunnel vision. Senile macular degeneration occurs when the central part of the retina begins to degenerate. A person may begin to see a hole in their vision. Performing regular safety checks, leaving on a nightlight during the nighttime hours, making sure corrective lenses are being used properly, Hearing is the other sense that is most dramatically affected. Age-related hearing loss is a condition known as presbycusis. While general hearing loss may occur, high-frequency sounds are generally difficult for people to hear. Sensory neural hearing loss is caused by damage to the inner ear, auditory nerve, or brain. Conductive hearing loss occurs when sounds have trouble making it to the inner ear. As we age, the structures in our ear change, causing the sharpness of our hearing to decline. Impacted earwax is also common in the elderly and may contribute to hearing loss. Our ears also directly affect our ability to balance. The changing structures may cause the elderly to not be as steady on their feet as they used to be. Make sure any hearing aids are put in properly and are working. Speak to the patient face to face in a lower tone at a proper noise level. If one ear is impaired, try to talk closer to the other ear. Always check for excessive earwax. Make sure any ambulatory aids are being used properly to help maintain balance. The elderly often have a reduced sensation for touch, pain, heat, cold, pressure, and vibration. These problems can easily lead to injury that may go unnoticed by the patient diabetes, poor circulation, and nutritional deficiencies can decrease the ability for one to feel. However, some gain an increased sensitivity to light touch due to thinning skin. Always perform skin checks to catch any unnoticed injuries. Teach the patient to become more aware of potential hazards such as extreme heat or cold. Encourage good nutrition. Promote good circulation by keeping the patient moving or repositioning if they are immobile. Taste and smell are two senses that go together. Pleasant aromas are oftentimes what makes food taste so good. Imagine not being able to smell your favorite dish being cooked. Now imagine not being able to taste it. When we age, our number of taste buds decrease dramatically. Our taste sensations such as salty, sweet, sour, and bitter begin to diminish. The loss of these senses leads to a decrease in appetite. Food loses its wonderful appeal. A decreased sense of smell may also be dangerous when it comes to detecting catastrophes such as fires. 
they may not be able to smell smoke or harmful fumes. Encourage patients to eat. Provides five to six small meals throughout the day instead of three large meals. Find out what foods the patient likes and encourage those. Teach them the importance of a well-balanced meal. Teach patients to be aware of surroundings and potential hazards such as fires or gas leaks.